Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 on the PlayStation 5. I'm Private Potato Gaming. We're going to carry on when we left off. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujia? Right, we've just taken out Maelstrom. Now we need to go to Lizzie's bar. I think it's after six. Yeah, it's well after six. Oop. Not paying attention. Let me just drive from third person rather. Okay, lizard bars up on the left. Somebody's got. I think. I think that's Dexter. He's got a blinged out in gold. I don't know if the skill will break into it. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Just show for business. Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Huh, <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Well. Not my favorite place to come. I really hey. don't like it yet. Get you something. Ah, uh, Matteo, uh, looking for looking Evelyn? For Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Well, that gives me experience. I'm also got big silver. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Matteo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. Evelyn Parker. Well, that much was obvious. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either yeah, that that's mildly just a creepy. Guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Alrighty. We'll be in the lounge, Matteo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Well, I mean, this place is cleaner than most clubs. Smoking such a disgusting habit these days. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective. And trustworthy. Well, I feel the three things are a lie. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. 
You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? No, just met the idiot. You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's, Let's just get down to business. Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. It's not really a transfer, The chip is tucked away copy. inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Not Man, the city staff, oh, the service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. 150 only years of doing the same job sounds kind of miserable. Plans are. Telling me you're one of them? What's up Look, your sleeve, Evie? If you've got any spare aces Evie? up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So the wannabe gangster wants to steal something from Daddy's company and sell it to the cops. Fine. Yeah, so that makes sense. So more security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. All right. Okay. Let's get What's going. Next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, yeah, jacking yeah, off to yeah. in those boxes. Like no, uh, it can be a very useful tool. Good All for right, analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. 
Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Yeah, Am I gonna have to do this calibration nope. dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Well, I mean, this tech is okay. actually pretty cool, but we're All still set. locked years away you from... You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. Can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks. Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, we're gonna just skip long. straight into it. Be diving in. <laughs> Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. Okay, on you go. And you've been handed a Lipsington, or should I say the yeah, recording everybody idiot. Everybody, on the ground! I want to see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! I can see rich people being snobbish enough to try and pay for this kind of crap. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... 
Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. I don't Not blame Judy. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional. Discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Well, I mean, this is kind okay. of a stupid idea, look. pulling off a big robbery like this. But hey, uh, let's get it over. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work the through this The client and her support specialist. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got Enemy it. hacking progress. I'm Millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire and up, Elon Judy. says he's six months from putting computers in everyone's head. Normally you're not supposed to go into the white light. Alright V, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. E5 Pro-Pum is massive dumb dumb. Are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then. You shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay, we need to go to L1. And then... R1. Here in a drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I mean, the guy's in the middle of a voice. Is it a video or a voice call with his father? I need a minute to finish. And he the says, "Go just walk in the, the door. trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the reason. My father's a tired, visualless old graybeard." Who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble i should not even be listening to such things you will listen to this saburo is an adult despot utterly removed from reality stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed this highlights a massive security flaw in the future. The technology gets so advanced to the point that quite sure your private conversation at the other side of a room is perfectly audible. Carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay, what we've gotta do is... We need to go all the way back to the entrance. So there's two highlighted things at the top.
Okay, we just need to look around. Security camera, no, motion sensor camera. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. <laughs> And let's look at this brain dead tin can. Adam Smasher. I mean, if you look at him, he's not. He's not really that impressive. He's big, he's bulky, but he doesn't look that tough. Fuck him. Alarm firmware's fresh, but. Saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. And I think that's a zero day. Oh, hack. Are you? The term might be zero day hack. I'm but a little unclear on it. Let's just move along. We don't need to hear the rest of that conversation. Specific storage conditions. You must not write them. Who was along? Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything alright? Is it just so fat? Just Kylie and I came to that. Oh, and look at what we got up here. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Well, that's a funny thought. Imagine if you go to a hotel... Nope. ...and there's a machine gun in the roof. Got any candy left? Jeff was pretty fun last night. Good one. Nice. What? What's this? She's busy with climate control. And Yuri Nova keeps a gun. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. And we've got a tablet. Data pad. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Consider how cool this tech is. You can read the freaking instruction manual from a glance like that. That's impressive. Can't keep technology air in the air conditioner. Hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Well, you can't store in a bucket of ice. Hopefully that would be a clever hiding place. Oh, Donna Geese. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Please. I mean, if you could have something small enough and cool enough, you could hide it under the champagne bottle. We got a fridge. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Well, no kidding. Ah, there we go. 
Right. Grab the heat suit. Right at the back. Matches the spec in the docks. Your has got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. I mean, the technology is cool in concept. We're still a long way off from it, but Get that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I wiped the cache on your data. You were never here. I mean, this is an impressive setup, yeah? Massive servers. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Thank you for the constructive criticism. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Route <laughs> certain the city always wins Besides, regardless. We'll talk in a bit. Well, she goes back to doing what she was doing. Let's walk. Well, I was planning on walking out the door, but okay. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Hmm. Actually, I would. If I agree, a job like that be held could pay probably sure. cut out decks. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer fifty percent. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer is the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with you. Okay, I would consider cutting out decks, but it's a very How risky thing. How looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. Yeah, so... There's always a sort of backstabbing going on with fixers. Very few of them are ever worth trusting. And I really just don't like X. Come on in. Let's just read what Jackie says. What's the status? Met with the client. Got intel on the job. He wants to be kept posted. <laughs> I mean, the technology is impressive. We're still a long ways off from being able to implant that kind of tech in people safely. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still so cool to see the concept brought to life. Okay, I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.